We're super lucky to have the opportunity to see stuff like this and to be around it and to be with people who enjoy it and understand the history like you guys are. The only thing that we need now, in addition to that, would be the parachute recovery vehicle. Someone should be making a copy of that so we can have both down. Hi guys, my name is Marcel and this is Steve Matchett and today we have the privilege of sharing our 1966 Batmobile. I've got to say Marcel, thank you so very much for inviting me down to see this car, which for me, I know we're from different generations in terms of age, but when I was growing up in England in the 1960s and 1970s, the Batmobile and the show Batman was the most iconic show unmissable you had to see it and and the tv show itself with adam west as batman and burt ward as robin and the list of supporting characters the wonderful villains was just an intoxicating mix but topped at all in every way i would suggest by the batmobile itself and and this is a fabulous recreation of that tell us more about it you know back in the days i hear about autorama and how vehicles were debuted in auto shows, basically a trailer just showing the car off to different cities. This would, did the same thing. They did a tour during these days and this would come to your city. When it did, every kid had to be there. A couple of the features that I remember from the TV show and how cool it was when we saw this in action was undoubtedly the bat emergency turn lever in the middle where the car would suddenly do a 180 degrees turn because the car was always going in the wrong direction. I've seen the footage just, and the parachute coming out with the frame throw. Now, did you ever see the episodes where when the parachute would come out of the back to slow the car and turn the car around with the bat lever, right. they would then dispatch the parachute recovery vehicle so that the parachute wasn't just left as trash on the streets. <laughs> there was the parachute recovery vehicle would go out and get the parachute and bring it back to the back cave. It, you need all of that. So tell me a little bit about this car in terms of the reproduction of the Batmobile that we see. Well, this one is a special one, not only because it's built in high quality standards, but it's also one of the 25 that's originally molded to the original vehicle. It's a modern build, meaning it was built in the last five years. You can see that there are some LED touches. If we look at here in the front headlights, you'll see some of the LEDs. Oh, okay, yeah, I do see them, yeah, okay. And then you also see the uses of CNC and machine grills, which is not common for the earlier ones to have right, right, right. that built. You know, it, it features, the beautiful orange slash red stripe that the body line has. Yeah. And it has these wonderful metal custom bat logo, it's insignias. The same wheel they use on that vehicle, the same stance on this vehicle is, is following the suit to that. And th they even have the bat antenna. This example is a little special because everything works. It's an overwhelmingly amount of detail that went into making it, but more than anything, they wanted to create and keep up with all the gadgets that Batman had during the oh, show. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, so we've got all working lights. We've got the bat phone that lights up. We've got the signal. We've got the actual bat scope. A little bit of modern touches to this vehicle, for example, is the actuated front hood and trunk. <laughs> this is so cool. So this is uh, built off a 1978 Lincoln body, and it has a Ford 460 cubic inch big block V8, and modern aluminum radiator, modern aluminum heads, it has uh, Elderbrock uh, intake and carburetor, wow. MSD ignition, So and it has Magnaflow glass pack exhaust, which sound amazing. It sounds like a big block should, you know? Now, I just noticed here on the detector scope, when you turn the ignition on, there is an LED readout. Guys, we'll get this on camera for you. Here it is in, in multi-colors, atomic batteries to power. And I'm sure it's gonna say turbines to speed. It's crazy. Just an absolutely amazing detail that I remember. Atomic, there it is, turbines to speed coming up in blue. Also, another detail I've noticed when we were watching the show and going back to it, you see the start button here? Yes. It also flips as the anti-theft activator like it did in the show. So those are the little things that someone took note of all the series and then put it in the vehicle. So, that, I mean, that was super cool. Flashing bat phone down on the center console. That's right. For Commissioner Gordon calling you, you take that phone call. <laughs> and then to Does add he... to add to everything in the trunk, we have a mobile crime fighting computer. No kidding. Which we know back in the day, computers were not small. This takes up half of the trunk. So here is the mobile crime computer. 
from Alfred, the Batcave? Alfred, the butler, back in the Batcave, would monitor the main Bat computer in the Batcave, and this would enable Batman and Robin to have that mobile link from from the car, from the Batmobile, back to the Batcave. That is beyond cool. <laughs> That's beyond cool. Yeah. You see the brake lights, how they've been finished. Again, it's all original to the design. We talked about the parachute, the parachute recovery, and here are the parachutes on the back to slow the car down when Batman needed to turn the car through 180. Turbines, all in metal, fabricated to fit the original style and theme of the original vehicle. Now, the car clearly is in tremendous condition. It's oh, a it's fabulous great. example. And you guys want to make best use of it in terms of its potential for charity. That's I understand right, yeah. you're trying to get a link together uh, with various sources, anyone that wants to come into partnership to try and help that, and all profits will go towards a children's charity here. Right. Which, which a children's charity associated with a Batmobile to me sounds like a really cool idea. And also perhaps being able to get the Charlotte Mecklenburg police involved as well. Right, you're right, he's working with local CMPD officers. We're looking to do something with that. And that is 100% the intent of this vehicle. It's a great piece to have, and it's great to have it in a collection, but the beauty and the thing that brings us all together is they're having the opportunity to share this with the community. Talk about an instant classic, but this car is a genuine case of an instant classic. The first time it was seen back in 66, 67 How on the wild. TV show. Absolutely, absolutely incredible job that Barris did with this. Um, but I think to be able to use this design, which is still as cool today as it was back then, if not, for, for guys of my age, it's probably even more cool now than it was back then because you really can, you can appreciate everything about it. Not only is it built well, not only is it built with a lot of detail, it's one of the 25 that's originally molded to that design. It's a fabulous car. Thanks very much for sharing it with us and, and showing it to me. It's really made my day. It's my pleasure to be sharing with you and with you guys. I mean, we're super lucky to have the opportunity to see stuff like this and to be around it and to be with people who enjoy it and understand the history like you guys are. The only thing that we need now, in addition to that, would be the parachute recovery vehicle. Someone should be making a copy of that so we can have both down here. This is a fabulous car, and it's so um, evocative of my childhood growing up and seeing this, seeing it on the TV, um, the little model cars we used to have of it, and of course, in, in comic book form as well. And it's such a wonderful example of that. I'm so impressed. Thanks very much for, for sharing it with us. It's my pleasure, Steve, and you guys. It's our privilege, and we're lucky enough to have it to share with you and you guys out there. So thanks for tuning in, and thanks for coming over here, Steve Matchett, and joining us with this Anytime. today. Anytime. For more information, you can click the link below and contact us there.